Hey guys, welcome back to another art therapy prompt. Um, today we are creating custom cowboy boots or cowgirl boots. Um, again, following the Western theme uh, with the upcoming stampede coming. And yeah, so we're going to need the same materials as usual. You're going to need pencil, eraser, um, coloring materials, and a piece of paper, and then you should be good to go. So grab everything that you need, and then we will get started. All right, so this is the basic kind of boot that we're going to be drawing. Um, and then once we have drawn the rough shape of it, I'm going to let you guys kind of take over and add your own personal touch to it, add um, symbols that you like, words to it, different colors, make it your own. Um, but we'll draw the basic shape of the boot together and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so grab your pencil, your eraser, um, and then let's draw this together. All right, so we are going to start by drawing the top of the boot. I'll have both pictures here just so that you guys can keep reference. So we're going to draw this arch up top. And you can do that on your paper, so draw a nice big arch. Okay, something like that. Then we are going to draw a line relatively straight down the back of the boot. So this line is going to go straight to just above the heel. Okay, so go ahead and draw a straight kind of you can have it a little bit bumpy your cowboy boots can be as tall as you want them okay so you've got that okay then we're going to add a little bit of a bump for the heel so you're going to take your line and you're going to give it a little bit of a bump like that. Okay, then we are going to go looking at this. So we just did this bump here. Okay, now we are going to ignore the heel for now. We're going to draw the sole. So it's going to come from the bump, it's going to go down and flat. So start with on your page here, start by going down and then flat depending on how high your, your heel is and remember to draw lightly so if you need to erase anything you can okay something like that again this is all of our first time drawing boots, um, most likely, so don't worry too much. Okay, we're going to do a little line, and we're going to just draw the sole. So we're going to basically follow that same line. We're going to follow that same line back and up. Okay, and then we're going to do that one more time, but a skinnier line. So it's not going to be quite as wide. There you go. Like that again. Does not have to be perfect. All right, now we're going to come down on this front side up here. So again, it's going to be relatively straight. Relatively straight. And then we're going to curve it out to meet, to make the foot out, and then over to make the foot, or the toe part of the boot, I guess. Okay, something along that line. And as you guys can see, I curved it over just before 
this the sole of the boot ends that's a personal choice all right let's add our heel to the back so that comes down straight line and it usually comes down to about the same distance as the rest of your shoe so wherever it ends through it wherever the rest of your shoe ends that's where your heel will kind of end and then it comes up you can make it as chunky as you like We're gonna add a little heel patch. So it's basically going to be like a triangle coming from just above, just above our heel. I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger. Okay, so you're gonna go just a little bit above your heel and you're gonna do a curved line down and then a curved line back like that. All right. Then we're going to add this little strap here. So it's on the front of our boot. So start a little bit, make a little line a little bit down the forefront of your foot and then a little bit up like that. And then you're going to draw a line to connect them. And then just a little bit away from where your triangle is, you're going to do kind of a half circle like that. And then you're going to spread it out so that it meets those lines. So there's one and then it comes out to meet this one up here. Okay, and then you can erase the inside line where your boot is because your strap is going to be covering it. Okay, now we're going to draw the little strap that comes down from this half circle here. So it's going to be two straight lines that go right back to the heel. So two straight lines, one, two. Again, you can erase anything that's underneath that. Because whatever goes on top is covering what's underneath. All right, then we're gonna move to the top of our shoe. We're gonna add this top seam and strap here. So same as this, we're gonna do a line that's exactly as the top, but just a little bit lower. So go as wide as you want. You're gonna make the same kind of line. Like that. And then at the top, I want you to do a little line up and a little line up like that. And connect them. And then they're going to come in just slightly as you go down. And again, this can be as long as you like. They come down and then they're going to finish off in another half circle or circular shape, however you want to. And then again, erase those lines that that's covering. All right, and then we're gonna draw a straight line from here to here. And we're gonna do little seams on each side. So the seams are just gonna be like broken lines, like that. So broken lines on both sides. Good. And then from here, we're going to do the same thing and it's going to go back towards where the heel is. So it's a little bit curved back. Okay. 
If at any point I'm going too fast, please just pause the video, take your time. And then we're gonna add the little dots or the little bracketed lines. Okay, looking awesome. Next, we are going to add the little spur at the back. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a rounded shape. And then again, that little half circle shape at the back. Yours does not have to look exactly like this. This is just an example. So you're going to start it from the top of your strap line and pretend it's like a slide. It's going to go down, kind of like that. And then you do the same thing on the bottom, down. And then you're going to finish it off with a curve, something along that line. You're going to do a little circle in the middle. And then you're going to attach two lines to that circle, like that. And bear with me as I'm drawing upside down so it might not look exactly how I want it, but that's okay. Because we're just practicing and having fun. Okay, so now we're going to add our spurs. So they're basically just like little rectangles that are coming out of the circle. You can decide how long you want them, if you want them to be rounded, if you want them to be pointed. Okay, a rough idea. And then, as you can see, this booth has a bit of a design at the front. Um, so if you want to add that, you can. It doesn't have to be this specific shape, but if you want to add, you know, some fun curvy lines, You are more than welcome to. Okay, just random curvy lines. And that is a rough kind of cowboy or cowgirl boat. Now, as you can see, this one has some stars on it. It's got some circles, um, extra stuff. I want you to take the next bit of time to add your own flair to your cowboy boot or cowgirl boot. Okay, so whether that means you're adding flowers to it, or stars, or whatever that might be, um, take the next bit of time here to make this cowboy boot totally represent who you are as a person. So if you're a Calgary Flames fan, you can do the Calgary Flames logo on it. Um, whatever makes you, you. Okay, so go ahead and take the next bit of time here to fully customize your cowboy boot.
All right, you guys, and there you have it. You've got your custom cowboy or cowgirl boot um, with little bits and pieces of things that reflect who you are. I've got some paint splatters. I've got a little bit of the ocean. I've got some fire um, that represents my passion for things. Um, I've got some words that um, mean a lot to me, such as love and peace, uh, be free. I have this dandelion, which I have tattooed. Um, on my leg. So all sorts of different things that kind of represent me as a person um, on my cowboy or cowgirl shoe. Um, and yeah, that is everything for today. It's just kind of a way to um, put your personality onto something else. Um, so I can't wait to see what you guys did and what you added to your cowboy cowgirl boot um, to make it your own. So that is everything for today. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys. I will see you again on Monday.